Hey crafters, I'm uh, DM Scotty, and uh, welcome to the DM's Craft Short Tip. Uh, glad to have you with me. Uh, this time we're going to do uh, a little, uh, a little short little craft on uh, making plants for your games. Um, it can be a tricky endeavor, um, and depending on how, if you want to do the 2.5 uh, D, uh, kind of like the flat uh, trees that I did, or you want to do more of a 3D type thing. Um, which is I, I kind of do a combination of the both. You know, I have um, the flat tiles and then I put some 3D uh, terrain and doors and stuff like that on it. So you could do this uh, with the plants uh, that we're going to talk about today. Um, this is a super cheap, uh, easy way to add plants to your game. Um, basically, I just bought this aquarium plant uh, at a big box store. It was a couple bucks. And the great thing about it was it's kind of like a ball. Uh, with a skeleton inside of the plant that holds all these little little uh, uh, branches and, and buds that come off the plant so you can just pop all these off there's a, probably about three dozen of these on this bulb so um, it was very cheap and I can make tons of these plants I can add them to other uh, tiles or terrain if I want um, but th today I'm just going what I'm going to do is I'm going to make separate little plants that you can add to your battles uh, to give a little bit of soft cover or things like that. So uh, today we'll go to the table and we'll craft those. So here's my starting material for this project. Uh, this is just an aquarium plant. Um, it has a weight on the bottom, but it has all these little um, pieces on it and there's at least two or three dozen pieces of this on this plant. So uh, I spent a couple bucks on it. Um, I'm going to get a lot of plants out of this. So basically to start, you want to kind of grab the plant and you can see that it's, it's like a mesh and all these little plants are stuck to this um, skeleton in the center. So what I'm going to do is carefully grab one of these and just yank it off the skeleton. I actually grabbed a couple. So here, let me show you what it looks like. So, it's the, so here's the plant, and much better scale for um, the 20, uh, 28, 30 millimeter. And uh, there's the base of the plant. It's like kind of like a cage that all the little leaves come off of. And um, there's just all these plants on this. So I can, this will be my starting uh, material for the project. And I'll pull some more of these off, and then we'll move to the next step. So now I have my plant material, but I need something to attach it to. So what I'm going to use is uh, this thin cardboard as the base, and I've measured out uh, inch by inch squares. So I'll just cut those out. And as you can see, I have some extra here, which I'll have to, I'll have to cut off. So there we go, I cut that. So now I just have an inch by an inch square. But I, um, unless you're using a grid or something, you may not want to have just a square for the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that square and I'm going to trim it just to make it a little more random, natural looking. Shape. Okay, so there I go. There's my little uh, base for the plant, and that's what I'll use to uh, attach the uh, plant to. For this next stage, we're simply going to take the base that we made out of the, the uh, thin cardboard. Uh, we'll take our glue gun and grab our uh, foliage, and it has a little basket on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the bottom of the basket with the glue gun. And it made a little on the base. And then I'll just stick that to the base. Okay. So there we go. We have our plant attached to the base. So a nice little base. Uh, we'll let that dry. And then we'll move on to the next step, which will kind of stabilize this plant, but also give it some uh, aesthetic value also. So we'll move on to that step next.
Here's my plan all glued to the base. As you can see, it's not very exciting. Um, one problem with this is it can get batted around the table pretty easily. It's light. And uh, another problem is there's just nothing on the base. It just looks like it's stuck to construct. You could paint that base brown, but it won't be uh, very exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some weight and texture at the same time by, uh, I'm going to grab a, a styrofoam plate. Then I've got my um, construction sand. Uh, now this is actually called um, all-purpose sand uh, at the hardware store, and it's just different uh, sized pieces of sand in there. So um, don't use the play sand, use the all-purpose sand. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my uh, white glue, and um, what I want to try to do is I'm going to hold the branches up, and I want to try to fill that bucket with glue that uh, the plant was in. So I'll start there and fill that up. And then I'll just go around the base. And I'm just going to cover the base with white glue. Okay. So now I've got my base all covered with glue. So now what I'll do is I will grab a lot of construction sand, or a cup of construction sand, and just pour it on the base. And uh, now we'll let that sit and uh, dry, and then we'll uh, work on the base. Here we go, here's my uh, plant. And uh, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the base covered up there. So it covers up all that uh, uh, mesh that was attached to the, uh, to the bulb of the plant. So now, um, I want to I want to make this look a little more like ground. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first off, I'm going to use a very wet brush, and I'm just going to paint the base uh, with a dark brown. This is just burnt umber, but any brack, uh, dark brown would do. I'll just hold the plant and just hit the base. So kind of keep the plant out of the way. So there we go. We're done with that. So now we will let that base dry and then I'll add a little bit of a highlight to it. So here I've got my uh, plant base and my dark brown has uh, dried. So now I'm going to use a spice brown to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight just to make it uh, make the texture stand out a little more. So I'm going to use a, use a little smaller brush this time and it's going to be dry brushing so I'll just get the paint on the brush without any water. And then I'll just run it over the surface. And uh, that'll just make that texture pop right out there. All right, so I've got that done. I'll give you a little closer look there. To see how that texture differentiates there. Uh, so now we'll let that dry, and I'm gonna put them uh, uh, side by side with the miniature to see you, so you can see the scale. I'm also gonna give you, tell you another option you can do um, with these, with these uh, plant bases. And uh, we'll move on to the table. Here's another step you could do if you just if you want to do a grouping of plants instead of individual plants. So what I've got here is I've got some cardstock, or you could use thin cardboard, and I've just sprayed it with the dirt texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it out in a varied shape. Uh, I don't want it to be that rectangular shape, so I'll just cut that out.
Okay, so now I have a, a base here. I bend that a little bit. Okay, so now I've got a base here. So what I could do is I could add more than one plant to this. So say I, I put one here and one here, one here maybe, and one here. Okay, so now I've got, I, what I could do is hot glue these on this base and then uh, I could just set this whole thing down as an area of light vegetation. So your characters could move in this and anyone that's on this base basically would be in the light vegetation. Even though you don't have the whole base filled up because then the characters won't be able to move on the base because there'd be too much vegetation. So you're giving the suggestion, enough of a suggestion of the vegetation without clogging up the base so the characters can't possibly move through it. So that's a nice, nice little technique for defining areas of the battlefield that are, say, light vegetation or something. Uh, you can just as easily use these individually. And uh, let me uh, set that up with a, with a figure and you can see the scale. So here's our plant set up. Um, it's uh, the, the scale, you can see the scale next to a figure. Now the thing is, uh, one thing, another thing I like about these bases is they don't move as much because they're weighted down. They have the, they have the sand on them, so they, if it's just the cardstock, they, they move much easier than this. So they're, they don't move around quite as much if you bump them. So that's, that's a nice little thing with those uh, sandy bases. And uh, I think it looks great. And you can just plop those down on the battlefield and uh, have some, on some light cover. Now, uh, I want to show you him what he looks like on the uh, base that I was showing you, too. So here's our mage on the plant base. Uh, one bonus to this also is if you glue these down, then they won't move around. So um, even though the individual ones don't move around as much, uh, if they're stuck on the base, they won't move if you bump them or put your character up next to them or whatever. So this is kind of a nice way to do it. Um, and like you could say that if the, the mage is on this base, if he's behind this line here, then he has light cover because all this, all this whole air, this base area is light cover. You could also add a few embellishments to this. If you have static grass, uh, this is not required, but if you have static grass, you could um, put some of that on there. You could also put, um, use a brush and put some more green on there just to simulate some extra foliage in there. So that's another option. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a great way to define, like I said, to define areas of the battlefield that have uh, light vegetation, uh, i.e. cover on them. So, uh, or um, not just cover, but maybe difficult terrain or something. So there you go. Um, some uh, nice cheap plant bases. And uh, with that plant I got, I could make, uh, I think, three dozen of these plants. So uh, that's quite a few bases. So there you go. I'll see you next time on Short Tip.